Hey everyone, it's Jenny. I'm back with another project share. So as you can see, I've been making a few teapots using the Maggie Holmes Garden Party Collection. Um, so I finally started <clears throat> using the papers a little bit more. Um, and I wanted to just try out some of these dyes. So this is a new dye that I just got from the In Love Art Shop. Um, I love it that it's just one pass and then you're pretty much done with the structure of it. And then I did um, cut out the accessory pieces in gold foil cardstock. I know it has all these like little glue marks. So obviously I'm not giving this to anybody, but I just wanted to cut it out to see how it looked. Um, the other thing I was intending on doing is um, you can actually cut this off and then make it into like an embellishment, right? But I was trying to figure out how you could do the back. Um, I think you would have to like cut die cut the paper the opposite way. So I didn't do that, but um, but anyway, that's that. And then I did um, put together the small teapot box. So there's two sizes. I think it's the same box. One of them is sold by Becky Cat Store, and the other one is sold by KS Crafts. This is the KS Crafts version. So if you want to see the comparison in size, um, Erica, who is Scrap Diva 29, did a comparison. I asked her about it um, when she first posted the Becky Cat one. Um, so she was nice enough to um, do the comparison because I wanted to see if I wanted to buy the Becky Cat one too, but I actually like the size of this one and I don't know that I would want one any bigger. So anyway, um, I cut out the pieces just using the the printed cardstock. Um, I initially had done it in the white um, 110 pound cardstock, but it doesn't have layering pieces. So I changed my mind and then I just did it using the printed cardstock. And then it has this piece where you have the two slots and then that's where you stick in the handle. And the handle comes like, you know, like forward and backward. So you can glue it together and then has tabs that you can glue on the inside. And then um, then I did the one with the two slots is the one for the, what is it called? The spout. <laughs> Sorry. The two spot, the two long ones is the one for the spout. And then this is the side two pieces, which are just plain. And then it also comes with the rectangular piece, which I just left it plain. And then I already had this Maggie Holmes um, paper rosette that I had made, probably with scraps that I had while working on another project. So then I added on just a strip of this bow paper, which is still part of the collection, and then Good Things, which is also part of the collection. Um, this heart came from the... I had made shakers, which I will share with you in another video. Um, it's the inside of the shaker, so I just reused it here behind everything, and then I just added a rose. I think it came out pretty cute. I just, again, I just wanted to see it for size, and I made gift this to somebody with some goodies inside. Um, but I just wanted to kind of test it to see what it did, what it did look like. So here's my two teapots. Um, I think they came out super cute, and again, I think I want to make some of these as embellishments maybe later on. But that's it for now, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!